In parts of Southern California, conservative resistance to the state's pro-immigration laws seems to be growing. Since the Trump administration sued California last month over the state's sanctuary law, a dozen local governments have voted to either join or support the lawsuit or to opt out entirely of the pro-sanctuary policy. Another OC city is joining the U.S. government's lawsuit against California sanctuary state law. That policy, known as Senate Bill 54, was signed by California Governor Jerry Brown in October. It extends protection to immigrants statewide and limits cooperation between local law enforcement and federal immigration agents. And let me be clear, we will defend everybody, every man, woman and child who's come here for a better life and has contributed to the well-being of our state. But the lawsuit against California seems to have galvanized activists who oppose illegal immigration in the Golden State. They say they believe California has gone too far in resisting the president's crackdown on those who enter the country illegally. The sanctuary law, they argue, unduly complicates the job of immigration officers to find and deport such immigrants, especially those once held in local jails or prisons. SB 54 didn't make our community more safe, it made our communities less safe. It has nothing to do with color. I'm from El Salvador. It has nothing to do with immigration. It has to do with legal and illegal. Do we really want to support criminals in the community? Senate Bill 54 is not supporting illegal aliens. It's supporting criminals who also happen to be illegal aliens. On the other hand, immigrant rights advocates support the state sanctuary law because they say it encourages immigrants to report crimes without fearing deportation. And not once have I felt at risk from an undocumented immigrant. So it's ridiculous that the city council tonight is taking up this issue to sue the state and waste our resources and our tax dollars. Love your neighbor as yourself. It does not say love your neighbor only if that person holds citizenship. As midterms near, experts also say the rebellion against the sanctuary policy might be further fueled by local Republicans who are willing to keep pounding on an issue they know mobilizes their base.